and fold this in to the custard. And we're going to have a terrific mixture here. There we go. You don't find praline ice cream so much in Louisiana because they eat all the pralines before they have a chance to get in the ice cream. They, they might be sensible, who knows. Now, Cajuns directly trace their heritage to the Acadian French, who were originally from Nova Scotia, and they re relocated in South Louisiana. The Creoles trace their heritage to the French, Spanish, Africans, and Italians, and any others who choose New Orleans as their home. Now, we're ready to transfer this to this terrific freezer. Now, this is a Don VA. Actually, this much ice cream was designed for a much larger can freezer. But we're going to use this charming Don VA, which I say charming because you can make up a very little amount. Notice here it has a depression. Here it has sort of a lump. This has been in the freezer for 24 hours. So it's going to be ice cold. Then you want to spoon in or dip in as I'm doing with a cup. Put your finger over that hole. Right, that because you don't want to really mix things up. Only fill it about half full because this is going to puff up a good uh, half. All right. Now I've got to hustle here. I'm running out of time. Then you put on the lid. Now get this all lined up properly. All right. Then you put on this and you turn it three or four times. Ordinarily, this takes about 20 minutes to do, and you turn it every two minutes. We found that this particular ice cream only took about 10 minutes to set up. Just before it's done, add the pralines and continue stirring, and you will end up with a most wonderful ice cream. The advantage of this particular kind of freezer is if you keep this chilled all the time in your freezer, you can have ice cream anytime at all. Now, the pralines give this velvety homemade ice cream a very special nuance as the textures play off of each other. It's a most alluring dessert. We certainly did some great things today. Mastered them all, don't you think? And it added up to truly fine cooking. The shrimp and chicken gumbo, oh, an Acadian specialty with that really fine andouille sausage in it. The kala is a delightful rice fritter that would be ideal served at any brunch. And a luxurious praline ice cream, winners all. I had to laugh when I saw the antiques today because they reminded me of pralines. Now only a foodie would say that, I think. This is Rockingham, and it's an earthenware pottery that was established in England's Yorkshire district in 1745. The famous brown glaze of mottled brown was said to resemble tortoise shell, or turtle shells, not pralines at all. Now, this pottery failed in 1842. However, this beautiful brown glazed technique was then produced elsewhere, including our own Bennington, Vermont. I'm fascinated by this quilt today. It does come from a little later period, but not much. It comes from 1875, and it's called the Drunkard's Path. Some historians have theorized that the popularity of the Drunkard Path pattern was a result of the uh, influence of the Women's Christian Temperance Union, the WCTU, which was founded right here in Ohio. Until next time, Essen gut, eat good. The recipes from today's program are in Marsha Adams' companion book, Heirloom Recipes, Today's Favorites and Tomorrow's Treasures, available by calling 1-800-235-3000. This beautiful book contains over 300 pages of heirloom recipes collected from across the country. To order Marsha's book, call 1-800-235-3000, and please have your credit card ready when you call. A free copy of Marsha Adams' Heartland Journal newsletter will be included with the purchase of her book. A copy of today's program is available on home video for $25, which includes shipping and handling. Call 1-800-235-3000 for credit card orders, or send a check for $25 to the address on your screen. Be sure to include today's program number when ordering. A box set of all 26 programs in this series is available for $150. Call 1-800-235-3000 for credit card orders. Marsha Adams Kitchen is made possible by the Fremont Company, makers of Snowfloss and Frank's Kraut, from our family to your family. Vera Bradley Designs, creators of classic quilted cotton luggage, handbags, tableware, and clothing and the Altrista Consumer Products Company, 
marketers of a full line of food preservation products, including ball home canning products. Broadcast of this program is made possible in part. Comedy, British style, and you get.